Hey guys, it is Cheesy here and today I am very excited to be bringing you my first of many many videos on Battlefield 1. In this series in particular, I'll be analyzing the key parts of a Battlefield game that we know of in Battlefield 1. Uh, these include vehicles, graphics, maps, and much more. In this video, I'll be going over all that has been revealed about weapons and classes in the upcoming Battlefield game. If you're excited, uh, if you're as excited for Battlefield 1 as I am, I recommend that you check out my other Battlefield videos and maybe even subscribe. I'm afraid I only have screenshots in the background. I could put Battlefield 4 or Battlefield Hardline gameplay if you want, so tell me in the comments, but I really want to focus on Battlefield 1, so I'll keep the screenshots. Uh, all the information that I've collected is credible. My sources include the reveal trailer that we've all seen, the rest of the premiere stream, and uh, what other Battlefield insiders like Level Cap Gaming or Jack Frags have said in their videos and in their tweets and stuff. So I really have gathered as much as I could. Uh, maybe I've forgotten some stuff, but I'll get straight into it. And what I'd like to discuss first is what we know about guns in Battlefield 1. So the guns are very analog. They, are, they require a lot of skill because uh, even if it doesn't seem like it, in Battlefield 4 we have red dot sights, you know, laser sights, uh, recoil help like uh, grips and stuff. However, there's not really much in the way of attachments in World War I, and so we'll have no tech, like technology aids, and so we are going to be stuck with mastering these weapons and you know, getting to use them to the best of our ability and really just learning them the best way we could. Uh, I think this is a really good step because you know, some weapons were overpowered, and this kind of makes it, uh, this kind of like knocks gun balance back a bit. Uh, equally so it's nice to see this and there are also pistols smgs shotguns sniper rifles semi-auto rifles uh, and flamethrowers confirmed um uh, this isn't much of a surprise uh but it's going to be interesting to see the world war one variants of pistols uh in the battlefield f uh one i keep trying to say battlefield five but in the battlefield one art uh there was a pistol that uh the battlefield forum uh, wasn't uh, able to identify. If you want to know more about it, check out my other video. And yeah, and then there's also an SMG that they were able to identify, as well as the Lee Enfield rifle. So it's kind of cool that they're having all these weapons, and because World War One wasn't too diverse. Obviously, there were like, I actually think there were like hundreds of, no, not hundreds, but there were dozens of weapons in Battlefield 4 and in Battlefield Hardline. But it's still nice to see that there will be such a wide range of guns in Battlefield 1. One thing that I also mentioned was flamethrowers. Um, we have, uh, I've only played Battlefield Hardline and Battlefield 4 extensively, but I'm pretty sure that we have not seen a flamethrower in Battlefield yet, so this is going to be really cool. I remember in Battlefield World at War during the campaign, I used a flamethrower and it just felt really cool, so I'm glad to see that they're finally bringing a, a flamethrower into Battlefield. Uh, and there's going to be like unique feels to the weapons, even though they are pretty simple like each weapon will feel different and have its own stats and stuff and in terms of weapon customization obviously as i mentioned earlier there's not going to be like red dot sights or laser sights but um there were some attachments that were used in world in the first world war they were unusual unusual but they were still used so i guess we will see some attachments that is pretty much it for guns so i'll be moving on to melee combat which will take a, a really big role in battlefield one a uh, larger role than it has in previous Battlefield games, like a really big role compared to the previous ones. And basically all I know about melee combat is that there will be swords. Um, obviously you saw that uh, horseback rider and they had a sword, which was which is pretty cool. However, it's not the first sword. In Battlefield Hardline there was the Inquisition sword, which I made a video about a long time ago if you want to check that out. Um, we know that there will be br brutal uh, close quarter combat. With in the trenches with like trench maces and shovels as you saw in the trailer. When I was watching the rest of the stream, uh, they were really talking about the brutality of the game and how gritty it feels and stuff. And I guess when you think about it, Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline and stuff, it really wasn't that bad. So I wonder if in Battlefield 1 there'll be like a lot more, maybe even gore or something. I remember World at War again was really, it was like Probably one of the, it was like the first game I played that was like really really gory and so maybe this is a step up in gore for Battlefield. Not that 
I'm not sure. I'm not really sure if anyone likes that, but it, it'll at least be, I guess, immersive. I don't know. Maybe I don't know, but uh, but yeah, it'll be really brutal. Uh, you saw like a guy getting hit with a mace, and there was actually I watched it in slow motion. You could see the blood go up on the screen, so that's really nasty. And then you also saw a guy get hit in the head with a shovel. But there will be many melee weapons with different stats. Now this is what this is uh, something that really interested me. Uh, Jack Frags mentioned how melee weapons will have different stats such as reach and damage and quickness and stuff. For example, a weapon might be really long so you can hit a guy from far away but it doesn't do as much damage. And so you can hit him from far away but you need to kill him in two hits whereas a guy might have a shorter weapon and might need to get closer but you can kill in one hit. So I think that's going to be really cool and it might actually get me using melee weapons almost as a primary weapon because when I was compiling gameplay for videos about melee weapons in Battlefield Hardline, it was really, it was hard. Like, I, I had to run around and hope for, like, a few kills. So, I'm glad to see that melee weapons are at least getting a bit better. And also, there will be bayonets, as there were in World War One, And there's going to be a new thing called a bayonet charge, where you essentially just, like, sprint into a guy with a bayonet. And so that's going to be really satisfying. So, that's it for melee weapons. And finally, we have classes. So, in terms of classes, uh, Jack Frag has already mentioned, he essentially confirmed that there will be four classes at least. These classes include Assault, Medic, Support, and Scout, which sound somewhat different from what we've had so far. Uh, assault classes have SMGs with no med packs. Considering there is another class called Medic, there is no need for the Assault class to have uh, med packs and such. And so, I believe a lot of people were complaining that the assault class was a bit overpowered, having the best weapons like assault rifles and stuff, and being able to revive teammates and stuff, so it's nice to see that they're listening to the community and making stuff better. So yeah, the assault class will have SMGs probably, with uh, no med packs, um, and, and yeah, so the medic class, uh, all we know about that is that it will have semi-automatic rifles such as DMRs, but I, I assume that the medic's primary role will be running around and helping people and be more of like a tactical role. Uh, the support class has LMGs, not really much of a surprise there, not much difference from the previous games, and also the scout class will have snipers, which is once again not much of a difference. One thing that interested me though was the power suit, it kind of looked like power armor from Fallout to be honest, but it looked like some guy in like medieval armor or something, and he had like what looked like a really big LMG or a minigun, and Jack Frags, once again, suggested that it could be a hero pickup. Now, I really hope that isn't the case, because while it may work for Star Wars Battlefront, uh, I don't really know how they could implement picking up stuff on the battlefield. Like, they currently, they have drops and stuff, right? Where there's, like, an RPG stashed somewhere or something, but I don't really know if it would be great to have, like, this tank of a guy hidden somewhere in the map. But that is pretty much it, guys, so thank you for watching. I will have a ton of other Battlefield 1 videos coming, so stay tuned by subscribing. And uh, feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and drop a comment on what you think about Battlefield 1, and what do you think about how the weapons and classes will be like. So, once again, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.